I would say this, radio is pure mission for the gospel of Jesus Christ. When you get in somebody's car and you're, they're alone and they're, they turn on a radio and they hear a message from the Word of God, it pierces the heart like nothing else. So I thought, look, how can we reach far beyond our walls, broadcasting and hitting Brooklyn, Queens. We're in the metro New York area and there's all kinds of Christian stations and most of them are traveling quite well in the music lane. We thought, why compete with that? We, we want to travel in a lane that everyone else is ignoring, and that is verse-by-verse verse teaching. We want people to know God's Word from beginning to end, uh, because ultimately the Word of God is what's going to transform people's lives. So they go to us for that, and people's lives are being changed. 1980, I started listening to Pastor Chuck on the radio, and it touched a kid that was in Yonkers, New York, who was you know, hurt and lost, and I, I, I was able to understand it. it. It was powerful, it changed my life. You know, Pastor Chuck was really a visionary, wanting to get radio out and really to have verse-by-verse -verse teaching in our communities. For us in Myrtle Beach, that's our history of how we got involved with radio. My main purpose for the radio station was to feed a biblically illiterate community. Even though I know these people will never walk through our door, we're feeding them, and that's all I wanted. You can be discouraged when you're, something goes wrong in the middle of the night, and you have to fix it before rush hour the next morning, but then the Lord provides always some encouragement later on at how it's impacting lives. You just can't imagine all the things that God can do when His Word gets put out there. Now, I've seen God do miracles with the radio. I have also seen incredible battles. You know, as we've been reminded at this conference, faith comes by hearing, and people are hearing the Word of God. People getting saved, lives are changing, falling in love with Jesus. We've gotten numerous emails from people who are going to drive that car off the road into the woods and end it all. And those right words are on at the right time. The message comes out, there is a God. And he loves you very much. And he, he has a plan for your life. And they pull that car aside of the road. And not only do they not end it all, but receive Jesus. To me, that's why we're here. That's what gets me up in the morning.